What are some of the issues of obstacles that you run into in your career of growing as a as an IT person all the way to where you are today? I've I've always been a very idea driven person, like a let's let's try it or like let's I've kind of always been an, an outlier. I've always been different than than a lot of the people that I've been around and whether that be from the classroom to the work environment. And so I think one, I've always kind of had like a, a leadership like soul or spirit within me because I'm always trying to do new things and then like lead the way for that new thing. And so that's how I've made it to management so quickly in my career is because I want to try things or I question things. I say, well, why are we doing it like this when I know another way that we can do it that's more efficient? And that actually becomes a struggle sometimes because, you know, we have, we, a lot of us have, all of us have an ego. And so, including myself. And so sometimes, you know, you're, I'm a young black man and, and, you know, I find that, that sometimes I'm in in a boardroom or something and I have an idea and sometimes that strokes people the wrong way. Sometimes maybe it's just because of my age or maybe it's because of my race. I can't really always know that, which is that makes it a challenge. You don't know why somebody's shooting your idea down. Maybe it's just a bad idea, but sometimes it is because it's like, they don't see, they don't take you seriously for whatever reason that is. And so sometimes I, I, I do accept that, but there's times where I, I have to, I'm really sure, for instance, with COVID, before COVID came, I told somebody in one of my departments, I was basically saying, this is something that we need to, to look out for. Like, this is something that we need to be aware of because I had family in Seattle and that's kind of where it first struck. And I saw what was happening to my friends in IT there. And I was like, oh, they're all going to work from home. And IT is having to deal with that. And so I threw this out like January. This was early. This was like really early. And I threw it out and people were just like, didn't just, they were like, what are you talking about? No, like that, you know? And so it's like, and then it happened. And then I have to still deal with it. So in a way you almost like, what I was asking for was to spend funds on things. Like I was like, I think we don't have the hardware necessary for this. We need to go buy more monitors and things before people are rushing the stores to do that. So it's, you know, some of the challenges are at times not being taken seriously or, you know, being looked at as you don't know what you're talking about or, you know, um, or the opposite. I've seen the complete other side of it where people think you know more than you know. So because you're the IT guy, you should know everything or because, you know, so I've seen both sides and those tend to be the challenges where like somebody will come to me and be like, oh, I need you to set up the sound system for this or something like that. Or they'll come to you with personal stuff at work and say, "Um, my husband needs a new printer. I need you to, to whatever. Or people will say, I want you to come home and fix my internet. And you have to, you know, Those are challenges that you have to, while being respectful and being who you are and being yourself, let them know that's not what I do. And that can be challenging sometimes. Okay. So you just talked a lot about, um, look, you know, navigating the industry as a young person, um, uh, being black and, um, and being a leader, having that foresight into things. Those are things that could get you either in trouble or get some people, rob some people of the wrong way because like you said, they may feel like you're you know, pushing your boundaries. Meanwhile, you were right all along, et cetera. I think you know, yesterday, I, I think you're right because yesterday I was speaking with someone who's in Toronto and he might actually be on the next episode. Um, he was saying, he was telling me that, do I know that in IT, there's about maybe 4% black people? And I was just like, what? Even if he's wrong by a margin of, you know, three, four percent, that's still very little, you know, but he's like, okay, now let's compare that to, to sports or to, um, to arts. And that just, I was like, okay, interesting. You know, I, I've known that, but this is a different take because they expect you to be, a lot of people expect you to be great at something that maybe you're not, uh, like, you, like you just explained. Maybe they think, you'd be great at basketball or great at soccer or something else, something more athletic, but 
but and f- expect you to be average in in technological things um, and all of a sudden you're super creative and excellent when it comes to science and maybe you don't even play soccer at all and it just it might be jarring for some people because they don't expect that which is one of the great things about what we're doing because um, five-year-olds 10-year-olds 12-year-olds and people in college get to see that wait there are a lot of people in IT and maybe that's something I could do Um, and maybe inspire them to go in that direction as well instead of doing exactly what people expect them to do so you're right there are those challenges I have personally I feel like I've experienced a little bit of it as well not too much Um, but one thing I've learned or I've heard from other people is when you are like Carlson and you're, you're good at school, you're succeeding quickly, you're growing fast, there tends to be some pushback because you're growing so fast and you're so young. And sometimes age to a lot of people sounds like experience, but it's not always the case. Um, age is not always equal experience, or even if it does, age is not equal expertise. You can be young and still really good at something, maybe even better than someone who has been in the field for a long time. Even more so, technology is a revolving door. So in a way, someone who's younger might know far more of what's current than someone who's been in the industry for a long time. Uh, So that is something to keep in mind, regardless of the industry, because of the way technology is rolling around all the time. So thank you for sharing. I really appreciate that. Um, What have you done to, to overcome that? Honestly... It, it's going to sound kind of glib, but I've just stayed true to myself. I say, whether people are listening or not, you know, what's true for you. So, you know, if somebody doesn't believe me, I know that I've done my due diligence by presenting it. I've done my job by saying, Hey, my job is to look up and out. I'm a leader. So that means whether you agree with it or not, I'm doing my part by giving you the information. So sometimes those things stick and sometimes those things don't, but in every case, I'm, I feel like I'm navigating it by just doing me, by doing me and moving forward and not letting, not letting the industry define what I am and what I am not. For instance, you mentioned philosophy. I'm, I still, while being a tech person, am, am able to use my other interests to self-actualize who I am in my field. So I love IT, I love technology, I love philosophy, I love psychology, I love reading, I love I love a whole bunch of different things. And the passion for these things have built who I am today and have actually helped me, you know, continue to move forward and realizing like, you know, no means next, you know? I may, this may not work here, but even, even also realizing that like, you don't know who you're going to be in five years. So, you know, some people would let those, those, those um, blocks stop them or discourage them. And I don't ever let anything discourage me from what I want to do. So even when things don't go my way, I don't take it personally. I don't let it bother me. I just I keep moving forward, you know, I keep moving forward and I keep learning and I keep growing and I keep trying to help people and keep trying to add value to people's lives. And that is why, and technology is really just, it's just the thing I'm writing to do that. You know, people need help in technology. I like technology. So there, you know, there's a whole bunch of things to navigate within that. But to be honest, yeah, I never really see it as a block. I just see it as it didn't work out this time. Let's go on to the next thing. Right. Um, yeah. Sometimes just holding your head up high. I've had a few of those where it's just like, uh, you know, feel really discouraged, but you're right. No means next. I haven't actually heard that before. So I might seal it if that's okay. <laughs> Search for the V City podcast wherever you get your podcast and listen to the full episode. Give this video a thumbs up and a brief comment to show YouTube that we produce good content. And I'll see you in the next video.